Okay, let's let's do this together if y'all want. Uh, three eighty four shuffle and away. Uh, shuffle and away numbers of numbers without duplicates, and then there's just some usage. Okay, so I mean this is, uh, this is kind of silly. Uh, and I'll, I'll explain what I would do later. Um, so let's just say original is equal to. Uh, and then there's like a random dot shuffle, I think. That I put in the wrong place. How does it? Oh, yeah. I guess the input doesn't have to be sorted, though it would, wouldn't matter either way. So you have something like, uh, okay, let's just say we re results. Is it gonna. And you shuffle it, and then return results. And I'll talk about how to do this without cheating. <laughs> um, what does this mean? I don't even do anything in here because I just copy a thing. Right. Does the reset give you? Oh, the reset returns to. Okay, fine. I thought that this is just a void function, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just random, right? So, okay. I mean, using a library function, I feel like if it's wrong, then it would just be a sad day. Um, cool. Uh, though it could be faster, apparently. But um, yeah, I mean, okay. Let's talk about this farm a little bit. Uh, and. Maybe future Mbox will be like, what? what? Why did you do it this way? It's lazy. And you, you're probably right. Uh, so yeah. So I mean, I just used the library. So there's not, I don't know, for an interview. Uh, I mean, if, I would say for an interview, you're probably not going to get this, I want to say, in the sense that, um, so the standard, um, the standard algorithm to kind of do, to learn about shuffling uh, or permutation, or yeah, like a random permutation is called uh, Fisher-Yates. Um, oops, I'm gonna leave in the comments in case you wanna. Uh, or yeah, now it's Fisher Yates' uh, algorithm. Uh, so I mean, that, that's the thing, right? Is that like, the, like I don't. That this is why I don't feel bad about um. Doing this with the library uh, that is in Python is because like well, just if you get this on interview, it becomes. Can I use a library? No. Well, do you happen to know the Fisher Yates algorithm? Well. That's like the entire interview problem, right? Uh, so that's um, so that's uh, kind of unfortunate uh, in the sense that, like, well, if you know this problem uh, or if you know the algorithm, then you can solve it. If you don't, then you can't. Um, and that's pretty much the you know, like, and I wouldn't really spend time on learning the algorithm uh, in the sense that, like, you probably if you're studying interviewing problems or beginning the code problems and so forth like there are other things you can do that are better use of your time so um because this is probably the only time where it would come up um so that's all i have to say to this one but i could do a really short uh <laughs> yeah i don't know but uh, so the only, only thing i would say is that uh the fisher yates uh and and it comes from very simple concept uh so that um so i could, even i remember it, even though uh you know, it's been a long time, uh, and it's something that uh, you know I, I would like to explain so that you ha have some idea in the back of your mind. Because uh, so the one thing that um, you need to know about shuffling and like doing a generating a random permutation in general is that uh, you know a very really naive thing to do, uh, and you know, I don't know how they check that this is uh, a correct answer versus whatever uh, because of like distribution. But a really naive but and often implemented and maybe a little bit better nowadays because people can use Google and also there's there's li there are libraries for it. Uh, but back in the day, there are a lot of times where like well, um, uh, the way that people would solve this problem is well pick a random index and then pick another random index and then swap them, right? Uh, well, the problem with that is that uh, let's say you shuffle or you swap. Uh, I don't know, n times or k times, say, because n is the length of the array. So if you shuffle, um, uh, or sorry, if you swap k times, well, there's two to the k possibilities of, uh, because, is it? 
Uh, or N to the... Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, a, uh, so that, that's the number of permutations that you can get after K shuffles. Um, but, uh, but you know how many permutations there are, which is N factorial, right? And those two numbers will never match up. Uh, and you can prove to, you could do a very naive proof to show why uh, N factorial is never going to be 2 to the, well, uh, yeah, uh, 2 to the K for any K, except for maybe, well, two numbers, I guess. Um, so that's why that, that doesn't work. Uh, and that's a very common trap that people fall into. I don't know, I, I don't, I'm, don't think that that shows up in, a, in an interview. Uh, but the right way to do it, which is way easier to remember, um, I don't know if it's very easy to remember, but the way that I remember it is that, okay, you go one ele one away element at the time, starting from the beginning, uh, or the end. I think the the canonical way that they describe it is you take the last element, and then you just take the prefix, right, which is from 1 to 7. Uh, trying to ask you all this. Uh, and then you take one random number, swap it with the number 8, um, oh, actually, I lied. So actually, it, it's inclusive. Uh, so you take one number from 1 to 8 um, and then swap it, right? Um, and then next, you, t you do the same thing for the 7, except for you still only want the prefix. So, uh, so you're only looking at the first 7, uh, seven elements uh, at that time and so forth. And you could kind of prove that, uh, th that this distribution work because in the first case, in the first uh, iteration, well, each number can appear in one, one eighth of the time. Uh, and then in the second one, well, you only have seven numbers. Uh, and the key thing is that you have to swap the eight into whatever it appears, even if it's itself. Uh, so in that case, there are um, seven numbers left, each one seven of the time, and then so forth, dot, dot, dot. And then... Uh, and then from that, it's easy to show that, uh, you know, if you do the product or uh, which uh, is technically called the pi of the fun these functions, which is similar to sigma, but it's just for the product. Uh, it's just one over n factorial, which means each of the n factorial permutations have equal chance, and that's what you want from the uh, shuffling. Um, but yeah, and this is relatively easy to, uh, to implement as well, if as long as you remember that part. Uh, so yeah, cool. Uh, that's all I have uh, for this problem. Uh, like I said, for an interview, uh, it, it really becomes like, hey, do you know this one algorithm that I know? Uh, which is, in my mind, a crappy interview problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, I don't know, sometimes you deal with crappy interview problems, so, uh, but I would worry about other problems.